Hello, my name is Ken, K9KEN from HamRadioNation.com. I'm going to talk a little bit about Ham Radio Deluxe's integration into the PSK Reporter website. Now, in case you don't know, the PSK Reporter website is a mapping suite that was created by Philip Gladstone, which tracks PSK reports over the internet. Um, Ham Radio Deluxe and several other software packages that are used for digital modes have this built in and you can report to the map and uh, get data back from the map and use it to plan propagation and uh, see how you're doing. So the first thing I'm gonna explain is how it's working, I guess. Um, this is the PSK website. It's pretty barren right now because I just turned my radio on a few minutes ago. As you can see, I got it set for 15 minutes. So this is all within the last 15 minutes. Um, what you're seeing here, these little ones, are stations that my radio has heard. So in the last 15 minutes, I've heard these stations. So I can use this to assume that I'm hearing pretty good coming out of London and I'm you know, looking pretty good coming out of France as well. So I'm hearing these stations pretty good. And you know the old adage, if you can hear it, you can work it. But uh, yeah, so I I'm hearing these stations and these here as well. So that's what I'm hearing. The larger bubble is my station. It's a monitor station currently because I am not transmitting. Um, if I change this to, let's see, an all band show signal sent and received by the call sign, use my call sign. In all modes, we'll get rid of my call sign, do it to anyone and you'll see a whole different map all right kind of get this centered here so it's usable so what you're seeing here is like I said, the small stations are stations your radio is hearing, your software is actually hearing these and letting you know that it has heard them and reported back to the map that you've heard that particular station. Um, when you've got it set in any one mode, this is per, you know, purely traffic from everybody, not just you, but for everybody. So you can hear tell that propagation from the U.S. into Europe is actually pretty good this morning. I mean, you can see a lot of um, North Atlantic uh, traffic going on here. So you can tell that the band is pretty open. Uh, if you got a decent station and you're, you know, you're going to give it a shot, you've got a real good chance of getting into Europe because this is actually showing a lot of traffic coming across here and into Europe. It's also showing stuff from Europe going down into South America, some uh, North American stations down into the tip of Africa. So, you know, that, that can be useful information if you're trying to plan your propagation, figure out where you need to be, or not where you need to be, but where you want to be. So, that's a good thing. So there's, there's one other aspect which is, I'm gonna set this for 24 hours. Uh, set it for this call sign and my call sign, because I did some PSK work yesterday morning. Hopefully that's still in the map here. Yeah, sure it was. So, okay. I'll zoom in on this a little. Now, the, these, these bigger balloons are actually stations that have heard me. So when I called CQ yesterday morning, these are the stations that heard me when I did it last. Um, as you can see, one of my CQs made it into Spain. So this is telling me that from Wisconsin here, I'm, I'm propagating in the May, Spain, not real well, but it, 
I was heard in Spain. So this is a good thing to let me know that Spain might be a possible contact. Um, the larger bubbles are monitor stations, which are basically stations that are on the air right now running this software or another software package that supports the PSK reporter. They're not necessarily transmitting or even listening for that monitor. They could have set it up and went on vacation for two weeks, who knows. But the, the, the bigger blobs or the bigger balloons are monitor stations, the faint monitor stations. And you can see by looking up here that there is currently 311 stations on the, the 20 meter band. So there are 311 stations monitoring for your signal currently on the 20 meter band. Um, you can see that there's 862 active monitors 133 on 15 meters, 131 on 40 meters, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, if you click on one of these, it will narrow it down and show you just that. Okay. So that's showing me for the last 12 hours just on 20 meters. Change that back to 24. And I'm not getting anything. So, just the way it goes. Oh, I forgot to put the call in here. K9, KN. Do it again. All right, so this is, this is showing me, like I said, where I'm being received. This is my station here. As you can see, I'm a monitor because I'm currently not transmitting, so I'm considered a monitor. And when I did transmit, these monitor stations have all heard me. Um, I do seem to be approximately all at the same time, so it was probably all the same transmission. And keep in mind, you got one over in Spain that's telling me that my station from Wisconsin is propagating into Spain. So if you know you need Spain for an award or something, go ahead and grab it. So. Uh, let's see here. Let's go back to the Ham Radio Deluxe page here, the radio control page. Let's let's go ahead and set this up. What we're gonna do is actually go back here to the DM780 window. Come down onto the waterfall toolbar here, and you're gonna see options. Give that a click. Another box will pop up. When it does, come on down here to PSK Reporter. Give that a click, and you'll see two options here, Enable Updates and Log Updates. You want to make sure Enable Updates is checked. Um, if you want to log your updates, that's cool. Go ahead and do it. I like to keep a log, so, you know, it's, it's, it's personal preference. Um, the, the address in the port should be filled in by default. You shouldn't need to mess with that at all. Um, you got a test button here, which you can run a test. It'll show you down in this bottom window if everything was successful or not. And uh, if anything fails, you're probably having firewall issues where your firewall is blocking the program. Um, you've also got a button here that says PSK Map Display. Um, this will display the website we were looking at, it, but it displays it in a window inside of DM780. My problem with this is... Ham Radio Deluxe uses Internet Explorer as its default browser, and Internet Explorer is a pig. So I'm, I'm running an external in a different browser here, like so. Um, you know, same results, except it's not using that, that Explorer window. If someone happens to know an easy fix to change the default browser inside of Ham Radio Deluxe, please let me know. Um, I really hate the Internet Explorer and we'll be uh, grateful to anybody who knows how to change that. I have posted a couple of uh, posts to the groups and newsletters and stuff trying to find that information out, but I'm not getting no response. I guess I just don't want to cut the information loose. So let's close this. I should pretty much cover it. Um, let's see. Go back here to this window. Let's cover it. Another thing you probably want to look at here is um, if you want to link directly to your map, use the permalink because the address up here is not going to change as the options down here change. 
So this will be actually the first page we've seen regardless of what this is showing down here. So use the permalink, <coughs> excuse me, and use that for link into it. That'll bring it directly to this page and will actually put your call sign in the link and everything so it knows to pull you up for what time frame and so on and so forth. So I hope this was useful. If you have any information or not information, any questions, don't hesitate to leave me a comment or maybe drop me an email. If you are a member of the Ham Radio Nation, you can also contact me there. If you're not a member of Ham Radio Nation, I expect to see you there real shortly. So get off your butt, go over there, sign up. We could use the membership. Thanks. My name is Ken, K9KEN from hamradionation.com. 73s, my friend.